Okay guys, so I'm going to do my review on Diablo, the Lord of Terror. So this guy is an interesting guy, but first we'll cover the skins as always. He has one of the coolest skins that you can purchase in my opinion, but this is his standard. This is the male Diablo, the reason why he doesn't look like Diablo from Diablo 3 is because that was a female Diablo. Because uh, it come out of the, the female, but this is the male version, the bigger, bulkier, stronger version, and that's the dark version, which straight away looks incredible, yeah. And then the purple, it looks, it looks more of a, a beh more like a behemoth than a demon. That it looks like a demon. That it looks like a demon. But that it looks like a behemoth master skin. Look at that. The difference is amazing. Yeah, everyone can agree that is a, an awesome, awesome change. Then it goes to the, some blue version, and then a very interesting whitish version. Yeah, okay. And the kaiju, this one is the one I'm talking about. That I love this. This is very cheap, it's something like three pounds. And then the purple, I love the red. I, I, it's the purple I really like, it stands out. But from the back, it's a shame I can't show you. But from the back, he looks incredible. The tail, he's got all the spikes on here, so you can see these amazing spikes. The kaiju looks great. And then the lurker, <laughs> uh, kind of fish one. This is cool. I think they are pretty good. Definitely the kaiju is amazing, but but that in black just looks badass. But anyway, his heroic abilities is one's apocalypse. It is handy but no one ever uses it. It's basically, well they do use it, but it's not, I wouldn't recommend it. It's basically where everywhere a hero is on the map, it'll put a platform under them in a circle, just as I use this as an example all the time, just like the circle. Everywhere where the hero is, uh, enemy heroes, they'll put one under them. They'll have like one or two seconds to react to it and then it'll do some damage and stun them. Not a great deal of damage, but it'll, it'll do it. And then lightning breath, is the best one where it just sends a blazing flame out doing a ton of damage over time and the secondary version of it is it goes twice as long and lasts 50% longer yeah so it is a huge killer in a team fight it makes people panic in a team fight it kills people it's great for getting rid of them squishies that hop out the back when you've doubled the length it is so damn good but his abilities are what we're doing his abilities is just a shadow charge which is very good it's a quick bash into them and it's very very good it's longer range than people realize sometimes and it's very handy because then you can quickly once you hit him it stuns them you've got just enough time to grab them with the overpower and it basically it takes them completely over you and brings them behind you and it stuns them for a little second which gives your guys enough time to get on and, and kill them it's a really good chase Bring him back, everyone just wipes it out. Very good. And the fire stomp is where it just he stamps to the ground and it takes all the flames out either direction. So it's very handy later game. Um so this guy he he really starts to shine. Really starts to shine when you're at level 16 when you get the fire storm. When the, the fire stomp, because you get like it's probably I think it's like six or seven waves they, they go out. But once and they return doing 150 percent more damage this really shines when you've got this uh, this ability this hero does he has a special ability as well where he automatically comes back to life uh, once you've got enough souls you get 100 souls which you get by killing minions killing heroes you instantly come back to to life no matter what okay so very good at keep, keeping in the field and also we can gain the most health out of all heroes from a certain build that I'm going to show you in the build video. Alright, so my thoughts on this guy, he is very, very good at, at doing what he needs to do and that's place the intimidation down on the enemy. He doesn't do a great deal of damage initially, he's just really good at getting the enemies in the position for your allies to kill with obviously the ability of the shadow charge overpower fire stomp's good for finding the stealthy guys knocking them out hitting them so that is very handy and the the sheer thing with this guy is late game he's great early game you just gotta do what you can do your hits try and survive 
you can't do much against buildings kind of thing uh, initially anyway um, but he's a very strong team guy he can't he's not a great solo person he doesn't have the DPS to solo many heroes down he, he doesn't have that ability at all he has no real means of escaping uh, even until you get to level 20 he gets his teleport but as you can see through all of this he doesn't have any ability to escape yeah so he can't escape so you got to think about what the opponent's doing are you fine to charge in there slamming people around chucking them about are you are you safe to do that and and push the momentum of your team so you you got to kind of be more wary with this guy because he he can't get away to late game and even when you get here you'll use hellstorm anyway because that is what helps win things this is the team fight decider if you got him doing this and you got Nova doing the uh, orbital beam or whatever you you wipe wipe teams wipe them out straight away and if you got someone that's a fa or, or if you got fast on your team and he's doing his uh, <laughs> blast of all Jesus Christ your, your enemy team health is just gone in seconds so very good but they like say he can't push buildings unless he's with a bunch of people so he can't solo that he can't solo most heroes he can just he can keep alive because he has more health than at most but he doesn't have any self heals but on the build I show you he does get a good a very very good survivability so my, my views on him they, yes he is a solid character he's a lot of fun to use you've just got to be very mindful about what to rush him into because like I say can't heal can't escape you've got to make sure what you're doing is good but I'll show you a gameplay video where I play as usual very well with him um, as I do with most heroes as you can see my heroes now are all getting quite strong leveled but yeah that's my the words about him let me know what you think disagree or agree but it's always nice to have feedback that's it guys I'll see you on the next